Hello there, after a long time. You must be wondering why I'm showing you a photo of a coconut tree. Well, it's August and it's the kite season in Sri Lanka, which is where I live, if you didn't know by now. We usually make kites from coconut leaf sticks or acres. My brother is the one who's making the kite for you today, so let us show you how to make a traditional kite. A traditional Sri Lankan kite that actually flies. I want this to be an experience for you than just a tutorial, so this video might be a little longer than you like. We are doing it from scratch, so we are taking the sticks or the acres directly from the coconut tree itself. You can use raw or dried sticks. I think you can even buy acres or the coconut leaf sticks from stores. If not, you can use any lightweight stick which is strong yet flexible. Because years, dried or raw should be cleaned very well. We need uh, two sets of acres. We are using four sticks each. One set should be a few inches longer than the other set. Now we are making the horizontal bar sort of thingy. For that, divide the shorter set of sticks to two parts. That is two sticks each. Lay it down like this and tie them together tightly as he is showing you. Make sure you pull the thread tight and put several knots at the two ends. Now this is the hardest part of all. We need to balance this part we made at the midpoint, otherwise the kite won't fly. Tie a thread at the midpoint and lift it up using the thread you just tied. See if it balances. If not, scrape the echoes until you find the perfect balance. This part takes a lot more time and patience than the rest. is how it should look when it is perfectly balanced. Now we have to connect the vertical bar to the horizontal part we just made. Take the second set, the longer set of sticks we set aside earlier, tie it together with the thread making sure to tie a few tight knots at the two ends. Then connect it as shown in a cross like shape. To the balancing or the midpoint of the horizontal bar we just found. Make sure to connect the two tightly and secure with knots. Now we are making the head of the kite. It's a little hard to describe, so watch closely. There are no exact measurements because it depends on how big or small the kite is. 
So just eyeball how narrow or wide you want the head to be. The only thing to keep in mind is that the kite should be bilaterally symmetrical. You have to use the same length of thread and tie them at similar distances from the midpoint. Now to the body. The process is similar to that of the head. The only difference is that we are pulling the head tightly from the sides so that the structure curves slightly. Too curvy or not enough curve, the kite won't fly. This is the shape and the curve you should be looking for. Now here comes the fun part. You can use tissue paper or colored polythene to decorate the kite. Now the loop, which is the thank God, the final step. Poke two holes opposite to each other like this and tie a thread around where the two bars meet. We are using several threads here to make sure that it is strong enough to stand the pull and the wind. Take a sufficient length and tie it to the bottom of the kite. Now remember this place I always pointed at, tie a knot in the loop 
right for your idol lines with this pot. Tie the flying cord in the place shown by the circle, and voila, your kite is ready to fly. There, a kite that actually flies. Thank you for watching. If you want more fun tutorials like this, like this video and please subscribe to my channel.